What up guys? Today I want to talk a little bit about and I'm going to tell a little story here and in this story um, he actually contacted me today and that's why I'm going to talk about this story today. Um, he contacted me today and was basically thanking me for helping him get his prices up. So I'm going to talk a little bit about Al from Dayton, the guy that I built his trailer for and when he started to He'd been pressure washing for years and doing decks and doing mostly decks and stuff like that. And when he was doing his decks, he was doing them fairly cheap. Two, three dollars a square foot to clean and seal a deck. And so when he comes down to get me a pressure washer, or once he built, I built his pressure washer, and we start talking pricing, I'm like, dude, you have to raise your prices. Um, you don't have a choice. You have to raise your prices. And so today he called me and he, was, uh, he texted me and he's like, you were right. I raised my prices, still closing jobs, making way more money. And so um, I did get a fresh haircut. It's kind of got burnt. It looks weird even because this is burnt up here and this is not. So, um, but uh, again, I'm like, dude, you got to raise your prices. And so he did. And I appreciate the super chat. I don't, oh, Benjamin Baker. Awesome. Thank you, dude. Um, but again, I'm, I was like, dude, this is why you got to raise your prices. So I'm going to break it down why we can't be the cheap guy. We can't be even $200 can be a cheap guy. And I want to talk about why we can't be that cheap guy. And there's a couple of reasons why we cannot be that cheap guy. And it's not nothing about, you know, people being like, well, I would never pay that. First off, I'm about guarantee you that, uh, I about guarantee you that you are not your customer. Um, so don't worry about what you would pay and what you wouldn't pay. If you, um, thank you, Journey of an Entrepreneur. Um, don't worry about what you pay. Let's worry about what our customers will pay. You know, will our customers pay $99? Some of them will. Some of them won't pay you $99. They don't want the cheap guy. They don't want the guy that don't have insurance. They don't want that. And so um, Al sent me a text saying, hey, thank you for getting my pricing up, basically, is what he said. And I know he'll be watching this. He done told me he was going to be watching it. So... You know, and he was at four dollars. He was at two dollars, two two fifty a square foot to clean seal in the deck. And I'm like, dude, we were getting six dollars all day long. Then we was up to eight dollars before we left. Oli, thank you for the super chat. Um, we were up to eight dollars a square foot, and I didn't want to do decks no more. And I turned decks away. And so, uh oh, he's a uh, journey of an entrepreneur is not going to let you beat him, Oli. Um, actually, Benjamin done beat you. Um, he gave 20 in the very beginning. Um, so, anyway, um, anyway, so we want to make sure that we are selling ourselves as what us is. And so, one thing Al has, and, and this is kind of something that you may have, and I've actually taught some people here shortly. Um, good luck there. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Benjamin Baker, for $100. Um, <clears throat> let me see what that says. How do you pay on large commercial jobs? We are on our ninth commercial over 13000 and I'm not sure. Should we go percentage like usual, or should we pay by the hour? So, Benjamin, in your case, let me talk tell my story here real quick, and then I will I will get back to you. So, if you have a network of people that you know, this is a great way to grow your business, and this is a way to that people will have um, have you might have resources to. So, for instance, Al, who is a who has been a who is getting ready to retire as a school teacher, has taught at the same school for thirty years has a great network of people. He's got mommy and daddy that he has, he might have taught their mom and their kids and, um, and, and, and maybe even their grandkids, you know? And here's the thing about being a PE teacher. 
everybody loves their PE teacher. That is a fact. I mean, in school, I don't think, well, you might, unless you were the big fat kid in school, you might not have liked your PE teacher. But even then, the PE teacher is going to make you feel good and, and that kind of thing. And that is what it's all about. So with that all being said, you know, we want to make sure that we are using this resource of, of, um, of we want to use this resource, basically. And so, and how we can upsell ourselves because we've already built the trust that you have for these people, and that is what it's all about. Is we're going to build the trust, and we we don't even have to build trust. We built trust 20 years ago when they were in high school. So that is why you want to be able to do that. So let's go back down to Benjamin's question: Is is how you know in your situation, you know, you can do it either way. You can either do it by you know, percentage, or you could do it by hourly. Where you're doing a lot of commercial, you may want to look at doing it hourly. Um, but, you know, then you run into the chance of then they're going to take their time and all that, <laughs> all that kind of thing. So we got to be careful of the thing with, with doing it percentage wise is you got to also remember if you got two crews there, you know, then obviously you're gonna split that percentage and you're gonna have to go that route. The biggest thing is, is as long as you're making more than, over, if you're doing overtime, if you're doing, you know, if you're working more than 40 hours a week, then obviously you gotta make sure whatever their percentage is, is above that. Which I know if you're build, bidding them at $13,000, that kind of stuff, you know, that is, you know, you know, $13,000, if you say 10% is $1,300, um, so you're, you know, and you're probably going to be there a week. So if you could do it in percentage, then that might be the way. Now, the issue you run into is, is, is when you're not getting paid, then you're going to be waiting and for that to, um, take place. So, um, that is what you just got to look out and, and think about it that way. Um, if you're going to pay it normal 40 hour a week, then, or, you know, even if you pay it so much, then, <laughs> all about Ben Hill, not no more people. <laughs> um, so there are some things you need to look out to just make sure that you do and and are able to um, grow your business. Because at the end of the day, it's about being successful and growing your business. And, you know, obviously we want to take care of our employees. And if we can take care of our employees, they will do, you will get way more work out of them and that you will, you can keep them for a long time. And, and that will um, definitely, definitely by far um, um, is good so so I'm here at the firehouse tonight so I, I didn't have a whole lot I just wanted to see um, I saw Ben Rick hired Ricky Tommy um, I don't know if he did or not I haven't seen Arian say anything yet so people love to try and beat you up over your customer and then move on you know, that's what's important is to know who your customers are and know who that we want to hit. Them are the ones that we want to go after. We don't want to go after customers that are the 99 gala guy. If that is the, you know, if that's the neighborhood of in a hundred thousand dollars, obviously we don't want to go there. We want to go somewhere else. Kind of afraid what they're going to bring. Should I wait till I get caught up to market more? Um, I don't know what the rest of your question was here. How much to charge for a house wash? Do you bid it by the square foot or add up all your size? We bid them by the job. We try to shoot for $300 an hour. Our minimum for house washing is obviously $279, $300, bucks, and then we're going to go up from there. Um, so, you know, if we're at a 1,000 square foot house, it's $300. That's 30 cents a square foot. But now, if we're at six thousand, if we're at a three thousand dollar square foot house, we still might not be at thirty cents. We might be a little less than that. So we, I don't really go by this number, you know, because you also got to look at, you know, a thousand square foot house and a two thousand square foot house. Um, you know, is that different, or you know, how much longer is it really going to take me? What is the second half of the message? Sorry for the confusion. Um, so this is something that we really got to 
um, look at on that part of it of um, on pricing. Pricing can be hard for a lot of people, and I understand that. Pricing can be very difficult. Pricing is one of the things that will either make you or break you. And so what I was going back to my story about pricing is, is you know, if we don't sell enough at a high enough rate, then we can't do other things. We can't do marketing to get other jobs. You know, if we don't make enough money so that we can put 10 to 20% back into our business and marketing, we're probably not going to be successful. And so if we're not successful, then guess what? Um, then you, hey, I, my number one fan is Bobby, is what he says by the um, super chat. Um, but, you know, if, if you're not willing to put money back into your business, um, a good one. Hey, thanks, Bobby. And make sure if you all haven't liked and subscribed to his channel, go down there and subscribe to Bobby Walker's channel. He is giving a lot of stuff away when he reached 8,000 people. So make sure you go check out Bobby Walker's channel and subscribe to it and follow him. He gives a lot of great information away. So definitely go down and check out Bobby Walker. And uh, it's the journey of entrepreneur. And uh, like I say, when he gets to 8,000 subscribers, he's giving all kinds of stuff away. So um, playing some zone of <laughs> Call of Duty to zone out. Awesome. But yeah, definitely go check him out and, and do that. Um, what's a good average ticket for residential? I'm at 650. I'm upselling and doing packages. Is that an okay average? That right there is a great average. Um, the most I ever was up to was $500 uh, was my average ticket. So 650, you're doing amazing. So now just go get more more jobs and keep closing them like that, and that's how you get crazy. So let's think about that. If we can do three jobs a day at $650, we're at that 18, almost $2,000 mark, 2,000. Let's just go for easy math. Um, how about businesses who ask about multi-structure discounts? I would probably give them a multi. Be careful on that. If you're going to bid them and you bid them all and you, if they're going to do them all, then yes, I would give a multi discount. If they're going to pull the crap of, well, we're going to do one this year and then we're going to do one next year, I might not give multi discounts. Um, so with that being said, you just got, you know, the, the people that always infuriate me was the realtors of, well, oh, I can get you all this work, but you got to give me a discount. BS. Because they're the first ones that go bye-bye, and those are the things that you just got to be careful with. So um, make sure, you know, like I say, if you're going to bid them all and they're going to they're gonna give you a contract on all of them, yes, then absolutely I would go and get, I would do a multi-discount at that point. Would it be a lot? Not a lot, you know, maybe 10% off, 15%. Um, but, you know, they're still got to get it done no matter what you do. So them are some things that you definitely got to look at when you are doing it, uh, Ben. Um, so, you know, just be careful. You know, 10%-ish, I wouldn't go no more. I wouldn't go no more than 10%-ish. Um, uh, I wouldn't do no more than that. And I would make sure that you're getting them all at one time, not this crap of down the road crap. Um, all right. In Yanis, your average house wash in North Carolina is about 200, and that's where you want to try to get it up. That's where you want to do packages. That's where you want to offer different things. Um, and, and do it. Are you going to have a higher close rate at the higher prices? Probably going to go down a little bit. But you know what? Who cares if it goes down? If you're making more money, then that's what the, the main thing is all about. And, you know, make sure you're letting your customer know the value of what you're doing. You know, the value can do a lot. Bobby, can you answer my question, please? Uh, he might have already left. What was your um, was you asking about copy thinking? Um, but yeah, so go ahead and do it. I'm bidding an 80 unit complex Wednesday for roof cleaning. Any overall advice? 
Yep. Try to figure out how long it's going to take you, and I would charge it by the hour. Um, I wouldn't get too crazy on, you know, the square footage and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'd be probably $300 an hour. If you got to get a lift, then you obviously you're going to add that lift to it and that. Um, if you got to, you know, you can upsell some a little bit more, but that's kind of where I would be at. Hey, Jason, how long will SH last with surfactant in a chemical tank? It'll usually last, depending on heat, depending on sunshine, it'll last a while. You'd probably be good for a little while. So two, three weeks, four weeks, I've had it last for a while. Any good videos on how to set up Facebook ads? Having trouble wrapping my mind around it. I don't have any right now. Jason, sign, sign, signs. Book two weeks with only 60 signs out in two days. Signs work, guys. Right here. Signs, signs, signs. Book two weeks with only 60 signs out in five days. Go put signs out. Five days, 60 signs. So you know what you do next week, bud? Go put another five, um, 60 signs out. Go buy you some more. Where do you get them at? Pressurewashhelp.com uh, slash get signs. Um, I just told you, pressurewashhelp.com slash get signs. Um, and that'll be a good place to get them. Um, how to answer the question of what do you use on the house wash cleaning when a customer asks over the phone? Uh, I use a specialized vinyl siding cleaning um, detergent. Um, Hundred signs out, no calls. Hmm. What's on your signs? Maybe try to do a different wording, different pressure washing or house washing, try different things. Unusual problem here. I know this is crazy, but I'm booked three weeks out, sitting on 10 grand of work, putting yard signs out now, afraid that they are gonna bring gonna bring should i get caught up before i market more no maybe getting laid off would benefit me no do not quit marketing especially right now um illinois um right now is when the, when the getting's good keep it going keep booking them out further learn how to get them learn how to clean faster and that way you can get maybe start adding some more jobs if you're doing two jobs a day, try to go to three jobs or four jobs. You should be able to do four jobs a day, and you're going to be a long day, but you should be able to do four jobs a day. Do you just do Google Maps for the online estimates, or is there an app that you besides Google Maps? Google Earth, if you're looking for more of the how on the, um, the um, measuring and all that stuff, Google Earth is what I use. Um, Google Earth works really well. Um, because you can actually measure everything out with Google Earth. Um, Google Maps, you really can't do it that well, um, but Google Earth, you can. And Google Earth, sometimes you can get down a little bit closer and see what you got, um, where Maps, you cannot do that as well. But Google Earth is really what it does. And you have to use it. Um, I don't know if you can use it on your phone or not. It's more of a computer app um, than a phone app. So it's definitely more a phone or a computer app but google earth you can do a lot more uh, measure measuring stuff and all that kind of. how about attaching the photos to the customer's estimate how do you do that again you could so actually we didn't do much of that um if if we did there at the end, I was doing it through Responsibid, and I was, and I think you can attach the photos in Responsibid for that, if I remember right. I can't remember, um, but if I'm thinking right, you could attach it to the into Responsibid. So that is how we did it, and that's how we were able to get our photos in there. Do you need a roof pump filter? No. Huge spider on the wall. Well, who cares? Hi there, Jason. Can you let, can you get a lot of calls if you post an ad on Craigslist? I'm already relatively new pressure. I never had much luck with it. 
with Craigslist. Thank you, Benjamin. Awesome. Thank you so much. As always, your info is gold. Please hit the like button. This is pressure washing God talking here. I'm actually, I don't know if you heard what I said last week, but my, my training website is going to be called King of Pressure Washing. So, what's up, Mr. Southeast? Again, here's another dude that if you want to learn something, go check out Southeast. Go subscribe to his channel. If you're looking at buying a rig, a pressure washing rig, go check him out. He does amazing jobs of building stuff um, and all that kind of thing. I got a call today for, from 40 minutes out of my service area. Way overpriced it, so either way I win if they accept. Thank you. That's the way to do it, dude. Hey, Jason, I don't know if you saw my question, but I need help with it before tomorrow. If you would be able to answer it. Thanks. I did not see your question. You'll have to ask it again because it's far. I'm not scrolling back up. Using oleic acid, do you prefer getting the powder and mix your own, or do you buy the liquid from your chemical oleic acid? I always use the powder or the chemical side of it. If people only knew how much money your videos have made me, oh, if they only knew. I know, dude. I know. I try to keep telling people that. I need you to come on one night and tell them for me, too. I'm cleaning an old wood deck tomorrow that is black from mold. Can anyone give me pointers to what mix of SH I should use and how should I use oleic acid after? So you're going to just use a, I always just use a house wash mix. You can go a little bit stronger, but a house wash mix. And then on the oleic, oleic acid, you're going to, I usually put it in a pump up sprayer and spray it on there. And then you take a brush and agitate it and then you'll just rinse it off and you'll actually see it come clean from that. Can you clean interior gutters from the ground? Yeah, if you get the back system. I never I never got it and didn't like it much. I never had one. Um, how long can you soft wash hose before you lose vertical distance? How long can you? Um, after about 200 feet, you're going to start losing some distance, and you're going to start getting some... Um, I forget. I, I got. Uh, I forget how much psi you start losing, but you lose quite a bit, and you also lose it by the diameter of it too. Is a four percent strong enough for a moss covered roof? I'd probably go six if it was me. You look every time. No spider. Laugh out loud. I well. So, what do your signs look like? They're going to look like big big pressure washing, big house washing, and then um, it's going to be a small uh, or a big phone number is what we're going to be looking for. Can I leave the alloc acid again, the pump up spray after I'm done, or should I rinse it out? I'd probably rinse it out just because it's an acid, but yes, you should be fine on that. You should be fine on that. Uh, but again, too late. Too late. He'll just put a pressure washing training called Pressure Washing King. <laughs> That's all right. I'd be happy to. Also, we need a trailer built. Can we talk about it this week sometime? Have 15000 to work with on a rig. We need it badly like yesterday. We would do it ourselves, but there is just flat out no time. Yeah, give me a call. I think you have my number. If not, um, I work Wednesday, so don't do it Wednesday. Any day but Wednesday. Give me a call and we'll figure something out for you. Kind of walk through what you want. Um, depending on, we could do it if it's not hot. We can definitely do that if it's not hot water. If it's hot water, it'll be a little bit different. We'll call it, okay, we'll do, Chris, we'll call in tomorrow. Awesome no hot water yeah then yes we can we will be able to get you for fifteen thousand. no problem and um even if i gotta make it one way or another we'll get you there newbie here the hose off the pressure washer to reroute water back to the tank do you sell them on your site i have a 4400 i do need it uh yeah if you go to pressurewashhelp.com slash store it's in there captain tom 
ten dollars. Thank you, sir. The eighty unit condo complex I asked you about are all duplexes and single story, and I'm in Florida. Do you think still three hundred dollars an hour? Um, I'd at least be two two hundred for you. Otherwise, it's not probably going to be worth it for you, dude. Um, I mean, that's where you just have to bid and see. I know you're in Florida, but it depends on what part of Florida, and it depends on who you're bidding against. You know, if you're bidding against a pe bunch of people, then it's probably going to be, you know, you got to see where the bids come in at. And if you don't, you got to look at it. If you get it, it's good. If you don't, don't. What's the time is best tomorrow? Um, Any time after 10, I'll be fine. What is a good example of a good sign? Big pressure washing, house washing, big phone number. That's what we're wanting. I don't have, I normally my sign, I have a sign behind me, but today I do not. Jason, what do you recommend for forcing your market to react? No one is roof washing here and I'm ready. Educate, 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 educate. Educate on house wash, or educate on Facebook and educate on um, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a very valuable source. I will be doing a bunch of filming this week of videos on how to get um, business through Facebook and how to get business through LinkedIn. Um, so go check out pressurewashhelp.com slash training and you'll find, you'll find it. It is going up May 15th, but uh, I'm going to show you how to get some business wise. So all right, guys, I know I'm kind of early. Um, I kind of had a long weekend, and I'm going to go to bed early tonight because last night the firehouse here was busy all night, and I want to make sure I get some sleep tonight. So um, I like sleep. Jason likes sleeps. So let me, I'll answer a couple more questions, and then I'm going to hop off of here. Um, do you know what the prices are in the Portland area? Yep, they're very well. I know some very... Um, all clean who bought my company is up there and they make a boatload Jason how important is top of line website for the business like having SEO team etc it's important to have it up there and it's not just about having number one it's about getting in through your Google Maps too, Google Maps and that kind of thing um, hey guys um, any new items out to pressure washing subscription any new items coming out to the pressure wash subscription site yes this week i will be putting the next two weeks so my goal is is april 15 is when it's going to raise my goal is is get everything in there before that um other people are asking me some different things so i might be doing i'm kind of backed up i haven't been in my office for about three days right now and so i'm backed up right now so I got a bunch of questions I'll be answering tomorrow, and I got a bunch of emails and crap like that. Um, go check out tonight. Um, Cody's getting ready to go live here in 15 minutes, so go check him out also. Um, best advice on sourcing bulk SH? It is probably go look up industrial cleaning supplies or pool supply stores, stuff like that. Um, I've been cleaning carpets for seven years and I have an in for bidding washing 20 to 30 trailers a weekend would be by myself. Should I pass on this as a beginner and start off residential or go for it? I, you absolutely need it. I would probably, I would go for residential. Um, I mean, a lot of times them trailers don't get you, but you don't make much money on them. You see how much money they make on them, you're like, it's all about the bulk at that point. So if you're planning on doing fleet, then obviously go for it. If you're planning on doing residential, then obviously I would probably stick with residential at that point. <clears throat> Getting orders ready Sunday night. Everyone listen to this, man. My first child is due in six weeks, and this business is padding my wife's lead from work. Awesome. That's how... That's how I was able to get my wife from quitting her job at Toyota. She was a, she actually worked at the um, main office of Toyota in Erlanger, Kentucky. And my pressure washing business, when it first started out, that's why she was able to quit and stay at home. And she's been a stay at home mom and teaching her kids for about six years now. Um, 
it's right at six years. My youngest daughter is six. That's when she re quit um, Toyota full time. And so, and she was making $50,000 plus benefits. And so my pressure washing business was able to make her where she did not have to go back to work. And so that was really cool. Thanks, Jason. One more. Got a request for a double wide trailer. What do you tend to clean these with? I'm assuming that's clean. SH. Or charge for these? Tend to charge for these. My minimum, I'd be at 279. You know, if you need work, you can do it for 200, but that's where I would be at. Watch 30 vinyl signing panels, both sides for $400. Is that a good price? Took two hours. Think I spent too much time and yep that's pretty good money i used to work at toyota as a mechanic but i left now awesome jason this is my goal charge yep thanks man huge all right guys i will not be on here wednesday night um my and my wife will be on my facebook page on tuesday night I may or may not come on Wednesday night. Um, if I decide to come on Wednesday night, I'll send an email out. Um, I am 54 years old, having to start over. Thanks for all the help. You're changing my life. Hey, Tom, that's awesome. Cause I And people ask me this all the time. If I'm this old, can I do it? Absolutely, 100%. Um, but again, make sure that um, I will be, I may come back on Thursday night. Um, I have videos coming out. Um, a lot of vid I have lots of videos in my queue right now. I'm doing a house next week. Actually, I probably will not be on Thursday night. I just remember I had something coming on. Pray for me on Thursday. I got something that I got to go get checked out. So um, that is something that I do have to do. Um, so pray for me there. And if I'm feeling okay, I'll come on. But it probably won't be feeling good. So see you all next week. And uh check out my videos go check out bobby go check out cody um, and see you all and have a great week and go kill it let me see if i can find my